Hey everyone, it's Babe and Armor here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own pop tab chain mail. To start with, you're going to need to get the pop tabs off of a can. I've seen some people trying to do this with um, pliers, which is a really bad idea because you get these weird little, so you can see that, these little circle things on the tab. And they're kind of hard to get off sometimes. This one's easy. I can just take it off with my finger by bending it. But if you do that, you get these little sharp edges, which are harder to get rid of. And that's going to hurt when you're going to try to wear your chainmail creation. So what I do is I just take my can and I bend it back and forth to weaken the connection, and it'll snap off eventually. And you're still going to want to pound those down, but I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Tools. First, you're going to need a hammer. If you don't have a workbench or a surface you don't mind getting scuffed up, you're going to need a piece of wood. found this in my basement. Something to bend or cut the, and cut the metal with. We'll talk about your options there in a minute. I have an assortment here. Um, it's preferable to use a wire cutter, but not everyone has one in their house for whatever reason, so I've used crappy scissors in the past to cut the metal. And then, of course, your pop tabs. First off, it's really important that you wash off your pop tabs. I just put them in a colander and run them underneath the faucet um, for a while. If you don't, you're going to get things like this. On this pop tab, you can see that brown right there a little bit. That's cola. It's going to be sticky. It's going to start to smell. It's going to irritate your skin. So make sure to get that off. Now, to take care of these little um, jagged prongs that we're getting from tearing it off of a can, you're just going to put your pop tab on the piece of wood up or down, doesn't matter, and take your hammer and just kind of flatten it out. This will also make it so that the pop tabs are more uniform um, when you're assembling them. The next thing we're going to want to do is bend these. Um, I've read some guides where people um, cut them first. That's always been really difficult for me because you end up getting these big gaps. Take one's finished here. Like, they'll end up coming out like this when you bend them, and you have to bend them back, which makes it easier for you to piece back together um, when you're creating a piece, but it, the structural integrity just isn't there. So I take a nice flattened out pop tab, and now what I use is a pliers, just a basic pliers here, and I'm just going to place the pop tab on the pliers as close to that central bar as I can. And then I'm just going to bend it with my thumb like that. You don't want to bend it totally in half. Um, you're going to have to work with your pop tabs for a while to figure out the correct um, angle to bend it at. I like to get it at a nice 45 there. Some people like it more, some people like it less. Again, you're just going to have to play with it. Now that we have our nice bent pop tab, we're going to have to cut them. Um, again, a wire cutter is preferable. I seem to have misplaced mine, so I use these crappy scissors again. These scissors are going to be ruined once you start using them for aluminum. So make sure that you are using scissors that you don't care about or buy scissors specifically for, for aluminum. Um, again, wire cutters. Go for wire cutters. So I'm going to cut at the halfway mark in my pop tab. And I want to make sure that I'm not cutting the central bar again. I'm just going to cut the bottom, the part that wasn't attached to the kit tab, the part that you use to grip to open up your soda or beer. And it's just going to take one step, and there it is. Let's see if I can, there. Just bend it so you can see. It. Again, don't bend yours like this. This is just so you can see that this is cut in half. You want to be careful when cutting these because if you don't have total control, you might cut them off center. Like this one is a little bit off center. Um, and what's going to happen is you're going to get big holes in your creations. Here I was creating a bandana type thing. Um, but when I rolled it up to be stored, there was one of these that was um, cut off center and it caught on another one. When I unrolled it, it totally just tore apart my whole creation. This hole shouldn't be here. Um, and it, it's unfortunate because then you have to go in, you have to replace tabs. It's a big ordeal. Then. All right, now that we have these cut, I'm going to cut a few more, and then I'm going to show you how to link them and how to start your creations.